Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this new tutorial on the channel. Today we are animating this graph financial accounting app and we are doing it in sketch and principle of course. What we are going to do is to create a screen transition between two screens and we have this beautiful sliding animation of the content of the data content about this company and about the craft. So stay tuned and follow the instructions in today's tutorial. So now let's get into this. We are here in Sketch and we are going to animate these two artboards and I already imported them to principal and I already created a tab from this item or data entry right here to the second screen. Now what we're going to do is to just use this link, this new tab, to create a nice screen transition. You already, already see that we have some elements on the second artboard that we are also going to animate. And what I basically want to do is to make somehow like a tab view that these entries right here are going up and moving to the left side and from the right these entries are coming in. So what we're going to need to do at first is to select these cards right here and get them onto our first artboard and we need to place them somehow like this so that they are really able to slide in from the right. What we are then going to need uh, going to do is to select the items from our left side or left artboard and paste them onto our right or our second artboard just like that. Super easy. After that what I would like to do is to select the tab bar, paste them onto our second artboard just like that and I would like to hide them, uh, hide it, so simply drag it beneath the artboard and we are already somehow ready to go and we are just able to test out what it already looks like. So you see that the entries are already sliding in in a nice way and the entries right here are sliding out to the left side. So that's basically really what we wanted to do but we are not ready yet. I want to animate the top area as well of course. So we need to give the blue background color, uh, black background layers the same name. So we have it BG blue right here and BG blue run on the second artboard. Delete the one and I'm ready to go now. It should actually animate and slide up to the top just like it's doing right here. But you see that the content on this first artboard like the graph the like amount right here and the headline they are just popping away they are not animated in a great way and if I go to the second artboard all these contents right here are also just uh, plopping in very hard and I would really like to soften that up so we need to find a great animation for this we could do this of course in different ways we could also say we want to slide all these contents to the left side and slide in the content from the second artboard from the right to the left or from the right into the artboard. Um, we could also just say we copy the graph or we copy basically any content that we have right here. Let me select this real quick. Like this, we could uh, just paste them onto our second artboard. We can also group them up, but we could simply say the opacity of these items oops, should be zero. Just let me do this real quick, just like that. So you would see that they are fading out in a nice and smooth way 
and we could say we want the content from in here also to, to fade in. But I think that's not a great way because while this is fading out, we already see that the blue area is getting smaller and getting smaller than the actual content. Let, let me show it to you again. You can see it somehow, so I think that's actually not a great way. Let me change the opacity again. We could say we want the content to get a different position like that. So this should actually move it out. And this is actually a great way, but it's uh, moving just above the status bar. So we should be able to grab the status bar and put them, put it to the top just like that and on the other artboard as well. Just drag it to the top. Sometimes it's kind of weird, you know. There we have it. Now it should actually look better because it's sliding out. But maybe we should as well decrease the opacity. So let me try this out. Sometimes it's actually really really important to just try out what looks best when working with these animations. You will come up with different solutions and different ways to actually animate and uh, create transitions but of course there are many solutions and not only one of the solutions is actually right. So we should we could do it like that and we could say we want the content which is in here like this to actually just to just uh, get visible in a nice and smooth way. So copy it, paste it onto your first artboard, I group it up can also name this top content and I would like to say it should be at zero opacity and right now it should fade in in a nice way after the content which is the graph right here is sliding out of our visible area just like that but I think the graph doesn't really have an animation yet I changed the opacity from 100% to 0% but I have the feeling that it's not really working because the graph is in a group and we have the graph right here and the shadow so let me change this, this real quick to 0% because the group is at 0% op opacity but the items itself, the layers, not so I think right now it should actually work you see right now we have a nice fading animation of the of the graph it's sliding up and the opacity is changed so if I do it if I undo it actually 100% again you will see it's only sliding up even though the group is actually at 0% opacity so you see it right there now I'm changing it to 0% and you see it's sliding up and the opacity is changing in a nice way. Let me expand the window for you so you can really see it in a better way. Ah yeah, and let's also connect this arrow to our first artboard so we can just navigate between these two screens. Tap to the, sec uh, to the first artboard and you see it's also coming back in just in a absolute great way. But I think there is a line and for some reason we didn't grab the line. There is the line. We didn't animate it with our content. So we have to copy it. I think we didn't copy it at first. So we should paste it right here and also drag it somewhere above our, fir uh, our second artboard. The line right there, you see that right now it 
wasn't moving, but if I click it now, it's also moving up just as we did it before. So I think this is actually a great way to actually animate the content. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial in principle and sketch. Really enjoying principle. I hope you also uh, downloaded at least the trial to check it out. If you have any questions and feedback, shoot it down in the comment section. I want to thank you for your time, guys. I want to just encourage you to go into design and to just explore the app and explore screen transitions and animations. And yeah, thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you.